In this video, we're going to prove that 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared plus etc., which is nth term 2n minus 1 squared, is equal to 1 third n 4n squared minus 1. So it is a summing of series problem. It's just presented without the sigma. Okay? So, step one, we need to prove that it's true for n equals 1. Okay, so the left-hand side would be looking at substituting n is 1 into this. So 2 lots of 1, take away 1 squared. 2 take 1 is 1, square it is 1. The right-hand side is substituting into this a formula here. So 1 third times 1 times 4 lots of 1 squared, take away 1. So 4 lots of 1 squared is 4, take away 1 is 3, times by a third is 1. So it is true for n equals 1. Step 2, assume true for n equals k. So um, we would be saying then that the sum from, um, let's use, uh, well, n equals 1 up to k of 2n minus 1 squared is equal to uh, 1 third k for k squared minus 1. So step 3, we need to prove that it's true for n equals k plus 1. Okay? Right. So, in doing that, um, we're going to look at substituting the n for k plus 1 here into the left-hand side. Sorry, into the left-hand side. So, we would actually be adding up from n is 1 up to k plus 1 of this 2n minus 1 squared. So what is that? Well, that is the sum from n is 1 up to k of 2n minus 1 squared plus the extra term when I substitute in the k plus 1. So the extra term is 2 lots of k plus 1 take 1 squared. Now, by our assumption, this is equal to 1 third k for k squared minus 1. So, 1 third k for k squared minus 1. And this, uh, by simplifying that, we've got 2k plus 2, take away 1, so plus 1 squared. Okay? So... I want to simplify this in such a way that I arrive at, so I want to show that the sum from uh, n is 1 up to k of 2n minus 1, or sorry, k plus 1, is of 2n minus 1 squared, is equal to 1 third k plus 1, 4 lots of k plus 1 squared minus 1. That's what I want to show. So I want to get it into that format. So I can't really do much until I have uh, simplified this. So let's see what we can do. Now, I'll probably want to multiply this out because otherwise I think I'm going to get into a bit of a pickle. So one third and times the k times the 4k squared. So four thirds of k cubed take away one third k plus, so multiplying that out, 4k squared um, plus 4k plus 1. Okay, so 4 thirds k cubed, and then I've got the plus 4k squared, and we've got the minus the third k plus the 4k, so that's uh, 12 thirds, so that'd be 11 thirds k plus 1. Right, so I've got it expanded. Okay, so next job is I want to bring it back in, 
Okay, I want to get it into this format. So if I can pull the third out to start off with, okay, then I'm going to be left with 4k cubed plus 12k squared plus 11k plus 1. Oh, sorry, plus 3. Okay, so I can do that first. The next stage is that I want to get to this k plus 1, uh, this k plus 1 factor. So can I get that next? So 1 third k plus 1 times something. Now, I could use polynomial division here. OK, that might actually be quite quick. You could do it by inspection. Not everyone likes inspection, though. So I'm going to quickly do polynomial division here. Uh, so we've got the 4k cubed. Uh, that's going to give me 4k squared and 4k squared. Um, I want 12k squared, so I'm going to have to have an extra 8k squared. 8k, 8k. Uh, I need an extra 3k there, so that's going to be 3, and that's going to be 3. So it goes in perfectly. Excellent. So that gives me 4k squared plus 8k plus 3. OK, fantastic. So I've got that. Right. So next thing. Right. Now I need to pull out 4 of k plus 1 squared. OK? Now, 4 lots of k plus 1 squared. So that's k squared plus 2k plus 1. 4 lots of that is 4k squared plus 8k plus 4. So I need to subtract 1 to get the 3. It's in the format that I wanted. OK? So I'm done. So that's true. So as it is true, as true, for n equals 1. We showed that it was true here in stage 1. And if true, so stage 2, assuming it's true for n equals k, then we show that it is true for n equals k plus 1. So it is true for all integers n greater than or equal to 1. Okay, and so that completes the proof.